Hey there, welcome to the Scribeware video. We're going to go over looking at a finished home inspection report. Uh, at Scribeware, we really believe the finished product is really what it's all about. Uh, there's no better way to market and grow your business than delivering a professional, clear, good looking report. And that's the try to, type of business we try to support with Scribeware. So uh, let's look at this uh, particular report is up. The, the reports come as HTML uh, links. So uh, that allows for when you're viewing them online, an incredibly interactive report. If you're one of our subscribers, then uh, we include customization to match your website. Uh, uh, along with the subscription. So um, here we've got a transparent logo. Uh, we've got the uh, property address and we'd have client names and the date of the address and then a nice overview statement. And all this in this particular template is just sort of put over the, uh, the, the cover picture of the house. Uh, and as you see, as you scroll down, that kind of starts to disappear and we can look at the rest of the report. Uh, you'll notice the report can be viewed as a PDF uh, or printed to paper. So we really s support all the different formats for looking at a report. Uh, we've got a, t a few bits here that are just kind of um, uh, CYA stuff, the scope and purpose of a home inspection, a nice clear outline of what we're trying to accomplish with the home inspection, and then a quick sort of how to read this report page. This includes some information about um, the qualifiers that, that we use. If you're a home inspector, you can actually customize these uh, to suit your business, but most people end up using these. It's a pretty good, good list of qualifiers. Um, You'll notice some things that are highlighted in blue, and those are hot links to more information. And you'll see more of those in the rest of the report. So our summary page we call the quick look, and you can go here. Um, one thing I love is if the client's in a hurry, they want to know what the major concerns are. You hit that, there are your major concerns. Um, uh, you can see they all come numbered, and the number is a key. The E tells you it's from the electrical chapter, and it's the eighth observation. Uh, the P is the plumbing chapter, the seventh observation. And if you want to go into the observation and see it with all of its glory with the pictures, you just click on it, uh, and there is a, a link that gets you into the main report. So we can go back in this quick look. You can see if it uh, looks like roofing was a major concern. Uh, here you can see the main observation and then all of the photographs that come with it. Uh, when you're using Scribeware, there's no need to resize the images. These are really good, crisp images. I use a pretty, uh, a nice quality uh, digital camera, uh, and you don't have to resize the pictures or anything. It just does it all for you. Uh, so we can go back in our quick look. We can look at our major concerns. We can go through our repair items here. Again, you'll see some items are... Uh, our link to more information. We can click that link and there's a blog. So here's a Scribeware blog uh, about understanding open grounds and options for repair. That's sort of a common thing that comes up. Um, so just kind of a great way to have background information in the report when the client wants more information. Um, here we found some recalled cadet heaters. So you can click on the link and now you go to the Consumer Product Safety Division and you can read up on the cadet recall. Um, all very a, a great way to kind of expand the information for the client. Uh, so you can see we also have improvement items, few things to kind of monitor, uh, due diligence items, which would be additional items to go ask uh, for more information. In this case, case there was an oil tank, so we've got a link to the local state insurance uh, where you can um, uh, register uh, your oil tank for spills. So it makes it convenient for the client to be able to just go right there. Uh, looks like we found some things that may contain asbestos, and there's a link for more information on asbestos. Uh, future projects, um, and then efficiency items, uh, just things that could make the, the building more energy or resource efficient. Uh, and then notes. I, I use a lot of notes in my reports, um, just testing procedures and explaining what you were looking at um, during the inspection. Uh, so now we can go into the full report and you can see everything is divided into pretty logical chapters. Again, if you're a home inspector, you can actually customize this list uh, and the, the, these little red guys tell you the number of observations in each section. So you can see we found quite a bit of electrical and plumbing in this place. Um, so you can either just scroll down the report and uh, read about the findings. Here you can see I was, this is a, a discussion or an observation about moisture in the basement. And this place had a sump pump system with a battery backup. And I was also showing that I checked the carpeting in some areas. 
uh, and we could go to if we wanted to just quickly go to the, the plumbing uh, chapter we can kind of see what we found about the plumbing these are the descriptions so uh, the type of pipe that was found uh, the water pressure and I have a picture of all that and this is kind of what the finished report looks like there's some information about the water heater that was there the water temperatures listed uh, here I'm showing that I um, was inspecting the water heater elements to make sure those were working today uh, so anyway, I hope this helps. All the way at the back, you have a receipt, uh, and that can say whether uh, it's been paid or not. Um, so uh, kind of a, a, a nice, simple, quick, interactive report that should be easy for clients to read. So I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.